It's Daisy. Welcome back to my channel. Like and subscribe if you like this content. Okay, what are we doing? I have no idea. That's the wrong button. Uh, la la la. We could go back to the Horror Bridge. Yeah, we gotta do the Horror Bridge. I like the Horror Bridge. We gotta go save our girl. We're coming for you, Lyris. We will save you. It is good to see you again, and I do see you in my own way. You're a wound in time, a tear in reality that shouldn't exist and cannot long endure. Okay, <laughs> I'll do you too. Uh, why do you speak in riddles, Prophet? Fate speaks in riddles. Your fate was written in the scrolls long ago. It is entwined with the fate of the five companions. I have finally located Lyris Titanborn in Cold Harbor. Is she safe? She works a terrible forge under the lash of the great deceiver, Molog Bar. Her soul is in great danger. You must go to her. I can manifest a gate to that dark realm, but you must go quickly. Open the gate. I'll rescue Lyris. Tread carefully in Molog Bar's realm. You are important. The scrolls have so named you. Awesome. What happened to Lyris after we escaped Cold Harbor? After Lyris took my place in the Wailing Prison so that we might escape, the Daedra moved her to the Foundry of Woe. It is a place of torment and despair. She toils endlessly, making weapons for the enemy. How do you know this? The God of Schemes invaded my mind many times during my imprisonment. It was a tortuous experience, but by forcing his way into my mind, he inadvertently opened his own thoughts to me, and thus created a chink in his own armor. So kind of like Voldemort and Harry Potter? <laughs> what do you mean? We are connected, he and I. With concentration, I can see through his eyes. He feels my presence, and it fills him with rage. When you enter the foundry to recover Lyris, I can keep his attention focused on me. He will be blind to you for a time. Isn't that dangerous? It will be a far greater danger for you to enter Cold Harbor without this distraction. It is Molog Baal's realm, and his power there is great. I will endeavor to distract him in this manner whenever you travel there. All right, bro. Open the gateway. We're coming for you, Lyris. Oh, that's so cool. I love the little art they have. It's so pretty. Lyris! Back. Where is? Where are you, babes? Ah, Daedra! Be gone! Aha. There is you. You're alive. Yeah. Are you really here, or is this another trick? It's me. The prophet sent me to find you. And he's still alive. Thank the gods. But you. You can't stay. You have to leave before they find you here. Babes, I came to save you. You're my damsel in distress. I'm not leaving without you. You don't understand. They've done something to me. I can't leave. What do you mean? It's hard to describe. My memories, my feelings, they've, they've been fragmented, ripped apart. And all the fragmented pieces have been... Locked away in different parts of the foundry. Then we'll retrieve them. I tried. The Daedra took everything. My willpower, my courage, my sense of self. I'm an empty shell. And the fragments are reflections of my worst fears and most painful memories. I, I can't. I, I don't think I can face them. We'll face them together. Come on. I'll do my best. Lead on. Don't worry, babes. I'm getting you out of here. No need to worry. I'll kick anybody's butt for you. God, Deja. 
I'm on a rescue mission. These lost souls are barely aware of their humanity. The guards don't even beat them anymore. <laughs> Loki understand it in real life. A lot of people get like that. This is this thing but not living. I don't like that too. Skyrim. My parents' graves. My mother died in childbirth. My father was distant. Cold. I think he blamed me for my mother's death. I ran off to become a mercenary when I was 16. I never saw my father again. He was murdered by an old enemy. Father? Papa? Is that you? You bastard! Die like the monster you are! I'm assuming this is the old enemy. Oh, it's not. It's a already ours. Neat trick, though, bro. Who are you? Why does Lyris walk with you? I'm here to help Lyris. Who are you? In life, I was Gyalda, father to Lyris. My spirit was torn from its rest and brought to this foul place. The Daedra forced me to experience my own murder again and again. I thought my torment would never end. They're using you to keep Lyris shackled to Cold Harbor. I don't understand. Lyris was always a free spirit. Why would my presence bind her here? She blames herself for your death. Lyris, is this true, child? You were always so cold. So distant. My mother died giving me life. It was my fault. I should never have been born. Lyris, look at me. The blood of giants flows through my veins. Your mother was a Nord. I gave her my seed without thought for her safety. That's why she died. Not because of you, child. Because of me. I thought you blamed me. You... You couldn't even look at me, Papa. Do you not see? When I looked at you, I saw her face. I loved her, child, just as I love you, more than life itself. We cannot change the past, nor should we cling to it. You must not let these feelings haunt you. Let them go. Let me go. I love you too, Papa. Rest now. That was sad. <laughs> Be at peace. He's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, come on, girl. This place is a labyrinth of hopelessness built to compound the misery of those who labor here. Did you get all the pieces? Yeah, I stashed them in the footlockers all around camp. I bet the commander makes her run 50 laps this time. 50? Let's hope the beast gets a lashing. All right. Let's get back to it. Act natural. There. These jerks are... ...kind of defeated. Okay, babes, here. Did you find something? I believe this armor belongs to you. I can't believe it. This armor is who I am. It's what I am. A warrior without her armor is like a bear without claws. Suit up, I'll wait. 
Excellent. I'm ready. Looking like an epic woman. Also, look how tall she is compared to me. She is a giant. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. What's your step? All the mining has made these tunnels unstable. Okay. Abner Thorn, you traitorous bastard. I should have expected to find you here. Don't be a fool, Titanborn. I'm trying to help you. Your hatred poisons you. Warriors are like steel. When you lose your temper, you lose your worth. Help me. You betrayed us all, then went back to licking Money Marco's boot before the smoke cleared. I did what I had to do. <laughs> and as a show of my good intentions, I have a gift for you. But be warned, Cold Harbor will not give it up easily. Is that... Sure, Bones, it is. Vestige, that's my battle axe. Oh, let's get it. Of course, it can never be easy, and it's one of the things that I hate the most. Are you like the mama of all the clan haters? Because I don't miss you. <laughs> Thirsty for my axe. Ah, oh, it feels good to have it back. It's part of me. Losing it was like losing an arm. Why would Darn try to help you? I don't know. I don't trust him and I never will. But it's odd. The blind hatred I felt when I saw him. I could have strangled him with my bare hands. But now, I think he was right. That hatred was poisoning me. How do you feel now? Better. Stronger. Almost whole again. <laughs> Isn't that strange? I feel powerful enough to take on Umaril the Unfeathered himself. I feel... like a warrior again. What's next? We're not done yet. We need to keep moving forward. The passage is blocked by a rock slide. But now that I have my axe back, I might be able to break through it. Let's check it out. Let's do this. Stand back. No damn pile of pebbles is gonna stop me now. Oh, my goodness, so cool. Yes, you're so cute. Will you sign my, uh... So many Daedric beasties, so little time. We need to keep moving. I'm gonna say something smart, but I'm gonna say the dagger. I give it to my great 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 kids. In my family forever! Because you know, the only way the line was survived is because you there is. I just left me to die. You can hide it, you can save you. No, no, no. I will murder you. Step, step. Hello. Hey, 
guys. Did you hear that? That sounded like... No. It couldn't be. Sai. What's happened to you? What have they done? Lyris. Lyris. I can see you. Are you really there? Sai. It's me. We're seeing some kind of vision of you. Do you know where you are? I... I don't know. They're torturing me. They w want the Amulet of Kings. Want me to tell them where it's hidden. But I haven't broken. Not yet. Sai, you need to hold on. We're going to find you. I'll make sure of it. We'll find you. Somehow we'll get you out of there. Sai? Sai! No! Bring him back, you bastards! I don't think they are. <laughs> that was no trick. That was Sai Sahan. Are you going to be all right? Sai's a friend. Maybe my best friend. We need to find him and get him out of there. There must be a way to find out where they're keeping him. We need to tell the Prophet about this. He'll know what to do. But first, we need to find a way out of here. I don't care what else they throw at us. Nothing is going to keep me from helping Sai. Let's go. All right, babes. I think we're almost out of here. You know, our dear friend, the prophet, didn't say anything. He was more like up there. Now he actually gave me like an escape plan to work with. That's okay. That's cool. We can figure it out. We don't need his help. Oh, oh Lyris, you don't care that I'm a vampire, right? I sure hope not. That would be kind of awkward. of all my fears, I can hear it whispering to me, taunting me. myself from a distance. I felt disconnected. But now, <laughs> this is the best I've felt in years. Like I've been reborn. And I owe it all to you. Eh. Thank you. Okay. Let's get out of here. We need to rescue Sai. Then you've got a world to save. Wow, girl, you're so ambitious. Yes, Prophet, I'm fine. The Vestige freed my mind from the Daedra's control. Thank the Divines. Your loss would have thrown all into chaos. They won't take me again. Not alive, at least. Prophet, Menemarko captured Sai Sahan. He's torturing him to find out where the Amulet of Kings is hidden. We have to rescue him. You brought Lyris back, and largely intact from the look of her. She's been through a lot. And she will need time to recover. One does not leave such a place unscarred. We saw a projection of Alnar Darn. He tried to help Lyris. Did he? I thought he had firmly aligned himself with Minamarko and his worm cult. Curious and curious. We also saw a projection to Sai Sahan. He spoke to us. What did he say? Did Sai tell you where he is being held? He doesn't know. Minamarko is torturing him. He wants the Amulet of Kings. Then we must locate him before Menemarko forces him to reveal the Amulet's hiding place. How will the Amulet of Kings help us? As you saw in my visions, 
The amulet's misuse ripped a hole in the barrier that protects Time Real from the forces of oblivion. That damage must be undone, and the amulet is the key. But to find the amulet, we must first locate Sai Sahan. How can I help? For now you must leave me to my meditation. I must set my mind to the task of locating Sai Sahan. Until then, embrace the unknowable. The drops of water cannot know themselves to be a river, yet the river flows on. One last thing, why did Mogulbog leave Lyris any possibility of escape? Perhaps it was simply arrogance. Perhaps it was all part of his grand scheme. Mm -hmm. Who can know the logic of a Daedric prince? I will call upon you again when the time is right. Farewell, Vistage. That's in the, the little cutscene thing, right? That line. Ugh, chills. We did it! Oh man, we almost got a level up too. Alright. is going to be the end of the video like and subscribe if you like this content i hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world bye bye lovelies